Hello everyone, I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru. I have been craving matcha so much over the past two days and I have matcha at home and I could make matcha myself but I'm specifically craving it with the vanilla cold foam so here I am. Yesterday I had 200 stars in my Starbucks rewards thing so I was able to get a free drink and I got something I was torn in between two drinks I was torn in between a frappe and matcha and I immediately regretted the decision of getting the frappe because I just wanted the matcha but I was so torn so we're redeeming it today and we're just gonna get the matcha right now long story for no reason but just thought you guys should know also I don't know if this is just me or if it's a pregnancy thing or what but my hair has been awful lately. Like, I just have bad hair days, like, so often. I have little hairs up here that just always stick up, so I don't know if it's breakage. But my hair has still been falling out kind of a lot, so I really don't know. I don't know. Why am I going through hair loss now? I thought this is, like, the period of time where your hair is more full and, you know? Hi, how are you today? Hi, good, how are you? I'm doing well, how can I help you today? I have a mobile order for Divani. I have it, you can come it up. Thank you. I have some work that I need to get done before I do anything. Cam's gonna be working in the office too, so we're just gonna be working side by side on our own stuff. I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take me, honestly, because it's a little bit tedious. Also, this is an update. I don't know if everyone knew, I kind of mostly said it on, I think, Instagram or TikTok, but I was trying to do Bible in a year this year, and I failed epically. <laughs> the plan that I picked, and I, this is my problem, I think, I think I just jumped into a plan without kind of looking around to see which one I wanted to do, and I kind of just picked one of the first ones that I saw. It's by Crossway, and there's nothing wrong with the plan, like, if it works for you, it works for you, but personally... I feel like I should have picked another one. So the one that I picked was you're reading three books in the Bible simultaneously. So it'll start with like Genesis chapter one or whatever, or two chapters. What's like one or two chapters from the Old Testament. Then you're reading like one or two Psalms and then Matthew one or two chapters. And it keeps going until you finish the Old Testament finish the psalms and finish the new testament but you end up reading the new testament twice i think i wish that i would have picked a plan that was just like one book at a time so yeah any hopes of me doing that plan again are kind of gone so i've just been kind of going at my own pace trying to finish the bible so right now i'm in ephesians and this morning i actually finished galatians galatians is only like six chapters so it's not that long and there's a few books in the new testament where i'm at right now that are like less about five chapters or less give or take so i feel like i can get through those pretty quickly they're they're pretty good too like i'm not just like speeding through it like i'm trying to like soak in as much as i can so we're gonna be reading hopefully i can get through the whole book of ephesians and then i forget what the next book is but whatever the next book is and see how far into the new testament i can get today because i'm still trying to see if i can do bible in a year just like on my own schedule you know i'm loving this weather it is so nice it is october and it's literally like 60 70 degrees that was a big jump, 60 to 70, but it's like late 60s and it's just, it's just beautiful. I can't find the key. Hi, Mia. I'm about to take my prenatals. My mother-in-law got me the tablet ones from Garden of Life and I decided to try the gummy ones because it's not like they even tasted that horrible, the tablets, but 
I just want a little motivation to take them and so I got the gummies and you take four of them that's one serving which I think is kind of ridiculous and I didn't read the serving size when I bought it so I really thought that it was just gonna be one and I was like wow the gummies are gonna last me such a long time because it has like how many in here it's 120 gummies but divided by four it's like a month's worth so it's literally the same thing but they're actually pretty good for vitamins i did a load of like hand towels and i got these from the dollar tree yesterday so i don't really know how i feel about them yet but i just know that i needed to do something i needed some hand towels because i go through paper towels way too quickly have you seen the video where it's like they rinse their hand for no reason that's me oh no the thing cracked i always put the detergent and then throw the whole thing in there but it cracked i hope that it can still kind of work i might as well throw in another load so i'm gonna go sort through the two laundry baskets that we have which are full and I feel like I just did laundry a few days ago. I literally just posted a video of me folding laundry. I need to look back on my page and see when that was because I feel like that was not that long ago. So why are both of the laundry baskets full already? Beats me. I think I'm about to start on lunch slash dinner because I feel like we're gonna be hungry soon. So I'm about to make some pasta. It's a lot of veggies. I decided to just cook all of them and I'm gonna use it for another meal maybe tomorrow if we don't finish the spaghetti today. So it works out. I think I'll use this as like a stir fry type of thing and yeah it'll definitely work because the seasonings are literally just salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder which is very very universal. So, I did the same exact thing with ground turkey. I made burritos yesterday, so I'm going to use the rest of the ground turkey in the pasta. We are all for versatility here. This is my favorite pasta sauce right now. I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but if I'm cooking just in general for the day or whatever, like in this instance, I knew that we were gonna need lunch, we were gonna need dinner, so that's why I cooked. I didn't cook because I was hungry in this moment. So when that happens, whenever I cook in that state, I have zero appetite, I cannot eat afterwards. And I don't know if anyone else can relate to that and it's not like i'm ruining my appetite by tasting a bunch as i'm going honestly i only tasted the food like once when it was in the veggie saute stage like before i even added any sauce or anything that was like i tasted like one mushroom so that's not the issue and i didn't even snack on anything else so i don't know cooking just kind of ruins my appetite so <laughs> that plate that i made was for cam I also wanted to show you guys how the food came out because I feel like it came out good. So I'm gonna end up eating later. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and check on the laundry and move on with the day because I'm glad the cooking portion is over. It's not that I don't like cooking, but on to the next. <laughs>
I was just re-watching the clips of me cleaning the counter in the kitchen and I just realized how absolutely ridiculous I look right now. But you guys, we're at home. We're chilling at home, doing productive stuff, you know? It doesn't really matter. I literally forgot what pants I was wearing. I've had these pants since either I want to say, I want to say high school. I've had these pants since high school, so. Throw back to my Ross days. These are from the men's section at Ross. I didn't record this, but yesterday I spent the day cleaning the birds' cages, which was absolutely so needed. It looks amazing. It looks great. We're not even going to try to look for any before pictures or anything. Just know that it's a big difference. <laughs> I had a black mesh and a white mesh that went around both of the birds' cages, and it's made specifically for bird cages. And I threw it away yesterday because I just feel like it didn't make a huge difference and stuff got caught in it and it looked kind of weird. So we are back to the basics and I had to vacuum the floors and sweep pretty much every day anyways. So we're just back to literally where we started. I also rearranged their cages. I'll show you guys. Most of their stuff is at the top. So this is... Cheeky's little hangout spots. I really like the perch that she's on and I kind of want to get one for the little birds, but I don't know if they'll like it as much as her. She has another perch right there. And then at the bottom right here is her little food station. And then this is their side. Everything's pretty much on the top because they just like being on the top. And for them, they're way messier eaters. So that's why they have I think it's called a corral and it helps a lot. That's their water. And then they have a little stick at the bottom too, but they literally barely go down there. For anyone that's new, these are my babies. The green one is Kiwi, the white one is Sky. Kiwi's like a little over a year old and I got her, I wanna say last year, July. Sky, I've had since like 2018 of November, so she's quite a few years old. And then of course, this is Cheeky. She's 16 years old. I've had her since I was 10 and we got her when she was one. So we've had her for 15 years. And yeah, all three of my birds are coincidentally girls also. And I can't leave Charlie out. She's eight. We've had her for like three or four years and she's a girl also. So actually, coincidentally, all of our pets are girls and we didn't purposefully do that or have a preference at all. That's literally just what happened. Cam and I go on walks almost every single day. I'm waiting for him to finish up so that we can go on our daily walk. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite part of the walk. The walk is usually around like a mile, a little over a mile, nothing, not too crazy of a walk. One mile. Wow. That was from just the one mile? Yeah. Seems like I missed that to you. Of course, Kat is going to be in whatever open window that is near us. We're about to work out. This is our little studio slash gym. This is Cam's drum set, and he has like this punching thing.
Cam just made some protein shakes. Protein. It's actually really good. So I told you guys this morning that I was going to be continuing in reading the Bible and I'm in Ephesians. So I read chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I'm going to tell y'all right now. If you want to improve your life, if you want to become the best version of yourself, this is the ultimate self-improvement guide because it's not only to improve yourself, but it's also to just overall become a better person for the world. The society needs people that are going to be prioritizing love, actual love, and this book is going to teach you how. So I highlighted a few things. I could have highlighted more, but I'm going to share with you guys some of the verses that I just really, really love that really stuck out to me. And it's going along the theme of bettering yourself. So the first verse I highlighted was chapter 2, verse 22. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. The next verse that I highlighted is more so along the lines as just like a reminder that God is capable of so much. He literally created the entire universe. So sometimes I feel like I can, in my head, limit the power that God has. And this verse is just a reminder that God is so much and more than I could even imagine. So it's verse, it's chapter 3, verse 20 of Ephesians. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think according to the power at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Okay, going back to the theme of becoming the best version of yourself and just developing these habits that are going to be good for you. These are things that this is also like, I guess, in alignment with fruits of the spirit. These are things that you need to be exhibiting. So this is chapter four, verse two. So these are some qualities that is of the body of the Christ. So the body of the Christ is going to have humility, gentleness, patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the spirit and bond of peace. Moving down to the same chapter 4 verse 22, put off your old self which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. It literally doesn't make sense for you to be holding on to these same habits, the same mindset, these same thoughts when you're now saved and you're now trying to live for God. It does not go hand in hand. So the Bible is literally telling you, put off your old self. Okay, the last one I'm going to share is chapter 4 verse 32 these are some more reminders of characteristics that we need to exhibit when we are in christ be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another as god in christ forgave you i know this is something that's very hard forgiveness is super super hard but think of all the things that you have done towards god all the sins that you have committed that are unforgivable but yet god has forgiven you if you choose to believe in the death and resurrection of jesus if you're struggling with forgiveness pray about it ask god to help you where you cannot humanly possibly fathom forgiving this person or whatever situation i've been loving paul's letters first corinthians second corinthians galatians now i'm in ephesians and all of them have such major keys of how we need to be exhibiting our life and how we need to be treating one another, treating ourselves. And it has been such an eye opener. I'm really, really enjoying these letters. So I would definitely encourage you guys to read just the Bible in general. Definitely, if you're a beginner, I would start with Matthew, start with the Gospels. And then maybe you can go into Paul's letters, which is the next few books. I'm about to shower now because it's been enough time and we're gonna have dinner, hang out, and then probably head to bed. I just finished eating dinner. I am so stuffed. I feel like I ate 
too much. Lately, whenever I eat too much, my stomach feels like it's like stretching. I don't know if it's brown ligament pain, but yeah, I definitely ate too much. We're about to head to bed. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Today was a good day. I feel like it was super productive. We got a lot done. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you're not already. Turn on the bell for all the notifications and comment something that you are grateful for. I love you guys. I'll see you so, so, so soon. God bless.